Hello students, welcome to the lecture series of fluid mechanics. Myself, Professor Dhruv Patel. In our last lecture, we have learned about continuity equation, velocity and acceleration for the fluid particles. Clear? And in today's lecture, we will learn about velocity potential function, stream function, equipotential line and various examples based on it. Right? So first of all, what do you mean by velocity potential function? So it is scalar function of space and time such that negative derivation with respect to any direction gives the velocity in that particular direction. Remember the keyword here negative derivation and velocity in that particular direction. That means it is a scalar function. If we derive it by any direction, then we will get velocity in that particular direction and velocity potential function is represented by phi. Clear? So that means if we derive phi with respect to x and negative derivation, at, that will give velocity in that particular direction. That means we will get velocity in x direction. That means u. Clear? So we can write similar way minus del phi by del y. That means derivation with respect to y direction and negative derivation. That means we will get velocity in y direction. That means v. Clear? That is known as velocity potential function. Next one is derivation of velocity potential function with respect to z. And that is negative derivation. That means we will get velocity in z direction w. Clear? That means the continuity equation. Now we have understand velocity potential function. That means phi. And from the derivation of it, we can find velocity in any direction. Clear? So if we remember the continuity equation, continuity equation in three dimensional flow that will be du by dx plus dv by dy plus dw by dz is equal to zero, right? If we put value of u, v and w in this continuity equation here, u, v and w, then we can write del by del x as a common minus del phi by del x that is instead of u. Here minus del phi by del y that is instead of v and here minus del phi by del z that is instead of w. Clear? So if we multiply this d square phi divided by dx square plus d square phi divided by dy square plus d square phi divided by dz square that will be 0. Here we are taking minus as a common. So this is our final equation d square phi by dx square plus d square phi by dy square plus d square phi by dz square that is known as Laplace equation. In descriptive paper in 7 marks or in 4 marks they can ask that derive Laplace equation for 3 dimensional fluid flow clear. So you have to just understand velocity potential function first then put the value of velocity potential function in the continuity equation of 3 dimensional that means you will get Laplace equation clear students. So our next function will be stream function. So what do you mean by stream function? So here stream function is defined as the scalar function of the space and time such that its partial derivation with respect to any direction gives velocity component at right angle to that direction. Clear? If we derive stream function with respect to x, then we will get velocity of y direction. And if we derive stream function with respect to y, then we will get velocity in x direction right generally stream function can be represented as psi clear and it is only applicable for the two dimensional flow because we will get perpendicular direction velocity so let us take example here psi is a stream function so if, if we derive psi with respect to x then del psi by del x is equal to v that means we will get velocity in y direction Similar way del psi by del y that means minus u that means we will get velocity in x direction or 90 degree direction. Clear students? Here you have to remember for the stream function any one of the component will be minus because suppose this is our quadrant first. So if we start from this x, if we derive with respect to x, then we will get velocity in y direction and if we divide derive again with respect to y then we will get velocity in x direction but in the negative direction 
so here we have to put u is minus clear remember student here from the sketch u is minus you have to remember it clear so first of all let us understand what is practical aspects of velocity potential function and stream potential function we have learned the equations we have learned the definitions of the velocity potential and stream function but till now we didn't get the practical aspect of velocity potential or stream function so what is the practical application of velocity potential or stream function so remember the starting of this chapter we have learned path line stream line stroke line and stream tube this also data is represented with respect to path line and stream line here you have to find practical aspect of velocity potential and stream function by yourself i will put link in my description for the practical application of velocity potential and stream function but at the first you will have to find by yourself clear students so let us take next one equipotential line so what do you mean by equipotential line a line along with the velocity potential function phi is constant that is known as equipotential line that means if you want to derive equation for equipotential line that means for the equipotential line phi is equal to constant so phi is a function of x and y both you have to remember this velocity potential function is a function of x and y both if you derive it d phi that means here phi is depend on x and y both so we have to take partial differentiation of it so d phi is equal to derivation with respect to x into fully differentiation plus differentiation with respect to y and fully differentiation clear so here instead of del phi by del x we can write minus u from the definition of the velocity potential function and instead of del phi by del y we can write minus v clear so here d phi is equal to minus into u dx plus v into dy here d phi right but for the equipotential line this d phi will be zero so we can write d phi is equal to zero so value of d phi that means minus u into dx plus v into dy is equal to zero so we can write u into dx plus v into dy is equal to zero or dy by dx is equal to minus u by v clear here remember this equation here dy by dx is known as slope so in the any examination they can also ask derive equation of slope for equipotential line you have to remember definition of equipotential line and from that you have to take d phi is equal to 0 because velocity potential function phi is equal to constant clear student so from that you will get minus u by v as a slope of equipotential line clear students so let us understand one example based on it so the velocity potential function phi is given as 5 into x square minus y square calculate the velocity component at point 4 and 5 so first of all let us simplify it so phi is equal to 5 x square minus 5 y square clear students so for the velocity purpose we have to differentiate velocity potential function phi with respect to x and y direction so here first of all d phi by dx that means derivation of 5 x square with respect to x that means 10 x next d phi by dy that means minus 10 y from the definition u and v are given as u is equal to minus d phi by dx that means u is equal to minus 10x and v is equal to minus d phi by dy that means v is equal to minus of minus 10y that means v is equal to 10y here we have value of u and v so we have to find value of velocity at 4 and 5 points so value of velocity will be u will be minus 10 into x that means minus 40 and v is equal to 10 into 5 that means 50 units clear for this type of example they have they can also give value of stream function psi also for the phi or psi you have to simply remember the equation of it after that you can differentiate with respect to any direction and you will get your answer right so that is it from the our chapter so let us revise the main points of this chapter again so first of all we have learned fluid kinematics then path line stroke line stream line and stream 
tube so that all aspects will be used in ansys or any other analysis software you have to remember all this data at practical point of view then after we understood types of fluid flows there are various types of fluid flows like steady flow unsteady flow uniform non uniform flow after that laminar turbulent flow then compressible incompressible flow rotational irrotational flow one two and three dimensional flow after that one most important theory regarding any examination or any point of view continuity equation in three dimensions remember this for the continuity equation you have to derive mass flow rate from the x direction in inner mass flow rate then outer mass flow rate then net gain in mass in x direction similar way you can find net gain of mass in y direction similar way in the z direction so you will find net gain in mass from all direction you have to compare this mass flow rate with respect to increase of mass with respect to time that means this our our equation number 2 if we compare our equation number 1 and 2 we will get our main equation that is known as continuity equation for three dimensional flow clear students so they can ask continuity equation for steady flow also for steady flow you have to remember any derivation with respect to time will be zero simple for the incompressible flow any derivation with respect to density or density remain constant that means density can taken as a common so this is our three dimensional equation and for the two dimensional z direction will be zero clear students now let us revise velocity and acceleration of the fluid particles so at first we have learned how to re represent velocity at vector wise u v and z u v and w is velocity of x y and z direction respectively then how can we find resultant velocity after that acceleration is the function of x y z and time so we have to differentiate acceleration at partially so we will get acceleration in x y z direction and at the last we will get resultant acceleration clear students so from that equation we can understand local acceleration that means derivation with respect to time and all other derivations that is known as convective acceleration clear after that we have understood velocity potential function so for the velocity potential function it is denoted as phi negative derivation of it with respect to any direction will give you velocity in that particular direction that means if we take negative derivation of phi with respect to y direction then we will get velocity of y direction similar way for the z direction from it we will get laplace equation you have to remember it next one is stream function for the stream function derivation of it with respect to any direction will give velocity in the perpendicular direction so if we derive it with respect to x then we will get velocity in y direction and if we derive it with respect to y then we will get velocity in x direction but for the x direction we have to take it as a minus because i have explained this quadrant wise if we take two differentiation then we will get minus derivation sign clear next equipotential line where the phi is constant we can find slope for equipotential line as minus u by v and at the last we have solved one example based on velocity potential function clear students so that is it from today's point of view thank you for watching my lecture